Welcome to a world that offers improved glucose control so you can enjoy a lifestyle of greater freedom and flexibility. Whether you have chosen an insulin pump because of its convenience or to reduce the severity and frequency of high and low blood sugars, your Minimed Paradigm Veo insulin pump will be a valuable tool in helping you manage your diabetes. This training is intended to supplement the personalized training provided by your healthcare provider. If you have your pump available, we encourage you to follow along and practice the training exercises before you attend your in-person pump training. Make sure you are not connected to your pump while you practice. There are two reasons a bolus is given. One is to cover the rise in glucose that occurs when a person eats, and the second is to correct a high blood sugar. There are three types of boluses that can be delivered with your pump. Normal, square wave, and dual wave. Square and dual wave boluses are designed to deliver insulin over an extended period of time. These boluses can be customized to meet your needs and to match different types of food. You will learn how to program square and dual wave boluses later in your training. In this lesson, we will demonstrate how to give a normal bolus, which is the type of bolus most frequently used when first starting on a pump. When you program your pump to give a normal bolus, insulin will start delivering as soon as you press the ACT button. The length of time it takes to complete each bolus will depend on the amount of insulin that is being given. Let's walk through the basic steps on how to program a normal bolus. From the home screen, Press ACT to go to the main menu. Bolus should be highlighted. Press ACT again to open the bolus menu. Set bolus should be highlighted. Press ACT and the set bolus screen appears with zeros flashing. Using the up and down buttons, enter 0.5 units. Press ACT. The bolus delivery screen displays as the bolus delivers. When the bolus amount is less than one unit, your pump will deliver in 0.025 unit increments. Watch the screen as the pump counts and delivers each 0.025 unit. Notice, the screen displays the time the bolus was given and the amount that you set. Using your pump, practice programming a normal bolus. Remember, you should not be connected to the pump while you practice. Keep in mind that while a bolus is delivering, you cannot program your pump to perform any other function. You can, however, stop the bolus, should you need to, by placing the pump in suspend. Resuming the pump will not restart the bolus, only the basal delivery will resume. Instructions on how to stop a bolus is covered in the suspend lesson of this training. Now that you've learned the basics of giving a bolus, let's look at the Express Bolus button on the left side of your pump. The Express Bolus button is a shortcut to the Set Bolus screen and is probably the button you will use most often when giving a bolus. When the Express Bolus button is pressed from the home screen, it takes you directly to the Set Bolus screen. You can practice delivering a bolus using the Express Bolus key now if you like. Remember, you should not be connected to your pump while you practice. While you practice, notice that after you have given a bolus, the amount of active insulin is displayed in the lower left corner of your set bolus screen. Active insulin is the amount of insulin that remains from previous boluses that still has the potential to lower glucose levels or cover food that has recently been eaten. When you have finished practicing, click Next to continue. Another great feature on your pump is the bolus history screen. The bolus history screen allows you to review the last 24 boluses that your pump has delivered. Your most recent bolus is displayed first. The bolus history screen lists the date, time, amount, and type of each bolus. To review your bolus history, start on the main menu, select bolus, then press act. Scroll to Bolus History and press ACT. Try accessing the Bolus History screen on your pump. Click Next when you're ready to continue.
The maximum bolus is a safety feature that sets the maximum amount of insulin that can be delivered in a single bolus. It's important to discuss this feature with your healthcare provider before you decide on the maximum bolus amount that you should set on your pump. The pump ships from the factory with the maximum bolus set at 10.0 units. This means that when the maximum is set at 10 units, you cannot deliver more than 10 units of insulin when giving a bolus. To change the maximum bolus limit from the factory default setting, start on the main menu. Select Bolus and press Act. Go to the bolus setup. Press Act. Scroll down to select Max Bolus. Press Act. Now you are on the Max Bolus Setup screen. Use the up and down buttons to set your maximum bolus amount. Press Act. Your maximum bolus limit is set. If you would like to practice, try setting a new maximum bolus on your pump now. When you are ready, click Next to continue. The Suspend feature allows you to stop the delivery of insulin on your pump. Suspend is most commonly used when you want to disconnect from your pump for bathing, swimming, or some other activity. When the pump is placed in Suspend, all insulin delivery, both basal and bolus, is stopped. We'll go through how to suspend and resume insulin delivery on your pump now. First, we'll place the pump in Suspend. Starting on the main menu, scroll down to Suspend. Press Act. The Suspend screen will appear with the word Suspend flashing on the screen. Press Act to stop your pump. When you press Act, your screen will display the word Suspend, and it will also note the time it was stopped. In 30 seconds, the pump will return to the home screen to conserve battery power. Notice that the solid circle, the Attention icon, is now displayed on the home screen. This serves as a visual reminder and indicates that the pump is in the Attention mode, which means it is no longer delivering insulin. The pump will also beep every 15 minutes on the quarter hour to remind you that the pump is in suspend. When the pump is in suspend, you cannot view any screen except the status screen. You must take the pump out of suspend before you can perform any other function on the pump. To resume the pump, which restarts the basal delivery, press Act. The resume screen will appear with the word Resume flashing. Press Act again. Your pump will beep once and resume delivering the basal rate as programmed. Notice that the solid circle icon is no longer displayed on the home screen. Practice suspending and restarting the basal insulin delivery on your pump. Click Next when you're ready to continue. Next, we will practice suspending a bolus delivery. To do so, first, we will need to program a bolus. You should not be connected to your pump at this time. From the home screen, press the B to display the set bolus screen. Press up to set a bolus of five units. Press act to begin bolus delivery. When the bolus begins to deliver, press act again. Suspend is highlighted on the main menu. Press act. Suspend will flash on the screen. Press Act again to place the pump in Suspend and stop the bolus delivery. To see the exact amount of insulin that was delivered before the bolus was suspended, resume delivery and then look at the status screen or go to Bolus History in the Bolus menu. Remember, the bolus does not restart when the pump is resumed.